Hi, right, Ben here from Ben's Soft Wash, and today we're at this lovely property, and we're going to give it a soft wash. So I'm just going to walk you around it, I'm going to show you what we're going to do and why we're going to do it. So the main job we're here to do, uh, and is what we are called to do, was to clean this roof. See we've got this PVC coated steel roof, and it's got all green. So we're going to use the lightning cleanse on that to clean that roof. It's also going to kill all the algae which is on it. You'll see underneath the gutter, we're going to clean out those gutters. And then when I was round looking at the property, you can see the light, you can see it on the camera here, build up of algae. It's only light green algae. Um, and on the portrait here, the light green algae on this uh, sand and cement render. So we're just going to treat that with BioCleanse. Reason being, all we have to do is spray it, and the result of the treatment will be natural weathering in time from the sun, wind, and rain. We're talking about a week, something like that, and this is all going to look fantastic. We are using the light and cleanse on the roof because it's going to give an instant clean. I think there's a party going on here in a few weeks' time. And so they want it looking nice, and that's what we're using the, the lightning cleanse. It brings it up instantly, and on smooth surfaces like that, the lightning cleanse is brilliant. Okay, we walk around the back. When I was walking around, looking at this property, oh, that's a lot of wind. That's a lot of wind. Let me see if I can get somewhere quiet. Okay, hopefully that's a bit better. We've got this wooden structure here, and again, you can see the, the light buildup of algae. And again, on top. So we're just going to treat that with the BioCleanse. And again, two, three, maybe a week's time, it's going to look fabulous. It's going to be that nice silver gray color. Excellent. So that there, if you see that, that post there, that's a nice silver natural weathered wood. There is the algae, it's a very light coating of algae, so we know that we just treat that, it's going to come up fibrous quite quickly. A heavier build up of algae are on wood like that, you might want to give it a very light pressure wash first. But something like this is only a light flare up of algae. We can just spray it, some small case, give it a light brush and walk away. And that's of course using the, the BioCleanse product. So our first job is going to be to clean the roof. We're going to do that first. So to do that, we're going to put up our scaffolding. I just have a, a small aluminium tower. Two men will pull it up in about 20 minutes. There you go. Actually took 15 minutes to put up our, our scaffolding. It's now ready for us to get set up with our spray lance. We're gonna use a spray nozzle, a 10 number tip, and spray up the roof with the lightning cleanse at 10 to one. Then we're gonna give it a light brush in and then just simply rinse it off when it's ready. So here we are, we're up on the roof and we're actually just gonna do this middle section now. If you look behind me. You can see one section done already at the start. The 
best way to do this one was to spray at 10 to 1, uh, leave it a few minutes, brush in a second application. And the reason being is some of this is really quite thick and heavy, some of this algae. So we're finding uh, just a, a, lot, a very quick brush. Uh, you don't use much extra product. Um, and then we're actually rinsing using a pure water fed pole. You don't have to use pure water, we're just the way our system is set up at the minute. We're using pure water to rinse off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you each of those uh, processes. So we're going to spray, then we're going to brush, and then we're going to rinse with the pure water. Okay, and as you can see, it's coming up lovely. Okay, so we've just, we've just sprayed uh, that section behind me and you can see it's already started to work quite quickly. I don't know if you can see it here but I, I managed to spray a good six foot ahead of me and if you can see the contrast there already. Now all I'm going to do is give a light brush to try and make this easier for rinsing. You see you're getting, you're getting excellent contact time down the valleys, but the ridges, not so much. And on the heavy areas, I just want to give a real quick brush just to agitate these areas here more than anything. And I make the rinsing a lot easier. So that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to brush in some product it's in these sort of areas here. So that's all brushed in now. It didn't take long. Very awkward to film, actually. So, but I, I hope you, uh, I hope you, you could see what we're doing. It's really quite simple. Uh, we're just, just agitating it really. We're not really scrubbing it. And uh, I said I'll give that a few minutes. Then, and we're going to start rinsing it. And I'm just using a water-fed pole, high flow rate, and giving it a rinse. That's it. What you have to be careful on, on, on cladding like this is these caps. See these caps here. One of the reasons we soft wash is, is uh, we don't use aggressive uh, pressure on surfaces which can flick those caps off and then you can get the corrosion of the of the tech screw. So uh, that's it. Let's rinse and then that's us basically done. Um, So that's the roof complete. Second part of this job is to treat uh, two elevations of the sand and cement render with BioCleanse to, to kill and eventually remove this green flare up of algae. On this elevation, the gable end and on the timber around the back. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to spread using the Benz 6.5 nozzle and BioCleanse at 40 to 1.
So there we go, the job is complete, the roof is clean and we treated the sand and cement render with BioCleanse and the job's already looking well. I don't know if you can see that down there but a lot of the green has already faded from the sand and cement render. It's quite bad in that little corner there. But that's it, I hope you enjoyed this little video, I hope it brought you some value and please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you're a customer, thank you very much for your business and we look forward to working with you in the future.